ERP versus census count. Which figure is the right one to use? Veronica is writing a council report which requires the most recent population for her council area. Sounds simple, right? But not really, because Veronica has a number of population numbers to choose from. The ERP, Estimated Resident Population, Enumerated Census Count, and Usual Resident Census Count. Which one should she use? Well, it depends. Let's look at each one. When the ABS conducts the census, normally on a Tuesday night in August, they count all the people in Australia that filled in the form, either on paper or online. The census asks people to say on the form where they spent the census night, even if they weren't at home. So it asks what the person's usual address is. So if Archie was on vacation on the Gold Coast on census night, he would say he was spending census night on the Gold Coast and would be counted as part of the Gold Coast population. This is known as the enumerated census count. It registers all the people who filled in the form and where they were on census night. It's useful for councillors that have a large number of tourists, like the Gold Coast, who want to know the actual number of people and of course their characteristics that stayed in their council area on that day, regardless of where they usually live. But if Veronica wants to know who usually lives in her council area, she would probably look more closely at the usual resident count. This effectively places people back in their homes, even if they were in the Gold Coast on holiday, on census night, and counts them as usual residents of their home, suburb or council area. This is normally used by councils who want to know the characteristics of their usual residents. Of course, this is an artificial figure as it probably never actually happens that everyone in the suburb or council is actually there all at the same time. But theoretically, it describes all the usual residents. With both enumerated and usual residents count, Veronica can examine the characteristics of the population more closely. Age structure, employment, household type and size, education, ancestry, country of birth and much more. The final population figure is ERP, Estimated Resident Population. When the census is conducted, not everyone fills in the form and not everyone is actually in Australia. Maybe some are on holidays overseas, so they don't get counted in the actual census count. To make up for this, the ABS makes an adjustment based on a number of factors to arrive at an estimated resident population for the council area. It is the most accurate because it effectively adds back in those people who weren't counted in the first place. The ERP is the only number we can't examine any other characteristics because remember, the additional people didn't actually fill in their census form. To examine characteristics, you need enumerated or usual resident census count. ERP is the most accurate number and it has the advantage that it is updated every year by the ABS, whereof of course the census count is only every five years. Veronica is writing a report that needs the most up-to-date total population figures for her council, so she will use the ERP. For more information about the census count and ERP figures, go to id.com.au and click on any one of the 250 community profiles in our online demographic resource centre. From your selected community profile, you will be able to find your ERP on the home page. If you would like to access enumerated or usual residence data, go to any topic available on our community profile and select from the toolbar the data type that meets your requirements. Explanatory notes can be found further down the menu. Select population types and you will find more detailed data notes on population counts.